named John Reeser. Human. I'm a musician. I play saxophone. My father has influenced me so much in my worldview, my reality view. Um, he talked a lot about spirit when I was little and, um, and I believe he influenced my mother a lot in that capacity. Um, and so my mother influenced me a lot in spirit. And I know my mother wasn't raised with that and I know my, my dad was. Um, so the fact that I learned a lot about the spirit world and that aspect of what I think of as reality from her and the kind of non-reality of it all from her is also testimony to him. He raised me with the idea, I felt that, uh, that I'm Cowlitz, you know, and that is part of, or a you know, big part of why I see the world the way I do. Um, that's a familial thing. You know, I've learned it from him. He learned it from his mother a way of looking at reality and a way of existing and, and interacting with the world is Cowlitz. Um, as I've gotten older then, being native has, is so much a political thing. You need to prove it with a piece of paper, you know, have a little card. But none of that changes who I am and how I look at the world. And as years have gone by, um, he's done a bunch of research and said, oh, we're our family's Cowlitz, but by way of this tribe. You know, people came over here and they became Cowlitz and, and then that's us. To me, that's not what it was about and that's not what he taught me it was about. He taught me it was about uh, knowledge, like a sacred knowledge. I have knowledge of things that that's what makes me Indian. And as I raise my daughter... I do the same thing, teach her the same things, you know. I want her to know who she is by way of her connection to reality or non-reality. And it's not about being able to prove it with a, with a card. Mm -hmm.